Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigerian news. For those who subscribe, I want to say a big thank you to you. We say God bless you for subscribing. And if you're yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button below. And now the news in details. Buhari's team in this array as NSA Monguno declares war on Abakayari. Nigeria's National Security Advisor Babangana Monguno has accused President Muhammadu Buhari's Chief of Staff Haba Kayari of undue and dangerous interference on matters bordering on national security. Consequently, Mr. Manguno has fired a warning memo to her service chief to desist from taking further directives from Mr. Kayari, according to documents seen by Premium Times. Mr. Manguno said Mr. Kayari's directive to service chiefs were sometimes issued without the knowledge, much less approval, of the president. A practice is said as added to government failure to contain insecurity. Chief of Staff to the President is not a presiding head of security, neither is he sworn to an oath of defending the country, Mr. Monguno, a retired Major General, said. As such, unprofessional practice such as presiding over meetings with service chief and head of security organization as well as ambassadors and high commissioners to the exclusion of the NSA and her supervising ministers are a violation of the Constitution and directly undermine the authority of Mr. President. Such acts and continues by Chief of Staff have not only ruptured our security and defense efforts, but have slowed down any meaningful gain that President, Mr. President has sought to achieve. Mr. Monguno's letter comes as ink security returned to center stage as a major cause of worry among Nigerians. Violent attack linked to bandits, kidnappers, armed robbers, and vandals have continued to claim multiple lives and properties across the country. The president has repeatedly promised to curb the crisis, many of which he met in the office, but has largely failed like his predecessors. Security experts Oppositions and federal lawmakers have responded by advising the president to fire his service chiefs. The service chiefs have been unable to reign in Boko Haram's insurgent since 2015, when Mr. Buhari named them to take charge of various arms of the nation's security architecture. While previously had swatis of land have been taken back from terrorists, deadly attacks on civilians and military targets have worsened since 2018. The chief of army staff, Tokor Borauta, said in recent media interviews that the military has degraded insurgent cap capacity to attack Abuja and other cities outside the war ravaged northeast. National security sources told Premium Times on Monday that a fresh memo showed how Mr. Kayari has helped in keeping the service chiefs in office despite overwhelming call for their old star. It also underscored the frustration faced by Mr. Monguno and others who found Mr. Kayari influence over the president too domineering for national benefits, sources said. Mr. Kayari and two presidential spokesperson Femi Adeshino and Gab Gabashew did not return requests for comments about the memo on Monday afternoon. Wow, so guys, what do you think? Because as we all know that it is not only our president, not only our president ruling the country right now, we all know that there is there are some cabras that are backing President Hope. You know, we all know that something is definitely wrong in this present government right now, you know, and that is exactly what is going on right now. And this guy is actually saying the truth that Abakayari is domineering. And that is the fact about it. And it shows that people are beginning to wake up right now. People are beginning to wake up from their slumber right now. You know, because a ministry or department becomes weak. If it becomes weak and ineffective, 
the moment its head begins to be beg- beggarly, all the ministries have made themselves answerable to the office of chief of staff. Because it is so, because all of them, they are all beggars, looking for what they will get from the president. You can imagine. Why is Abakayari giving orders to the chief of staff? Is it the duty of Abakayari to, to give order? And that is the thing. Those are the people that are destroying our country right now. Those are the Kabas that we are talking about. You know, and we all know that Abakayari had already put Buhari government in a serious tight corner. Trust me. He, he does that. In which I believe that it is already late. It is too late for Nigerian system right now. Because Abakayari had assumed power. He assumed power that is more than that of the vice president. In fact, Abakayari is well recognized than the vice president. You can imagine that. Is the one taking the position of Yemi Oshibajo right now. Because who is Yemi Oshibajo right now? Who is he like? Nobody knows him. Nobody, people even, people recognize Abakayari than Yemi Oshibajo. And it is not supposed to be so. Abakayari is the one controlling Buhari. My people, we all know all this thing that is going on in Nigeria right now. We know that it is not only our president, Muhammad Buhari, that is ruling the country right now. We know the backups already. We know the Kabas. Abakayari is the one in charge. Even instead of recognizing Yemi Oshibajo, people recognize Abakayari more than Yemi Oshibajo. And that is just uncalled for, my people. It's just so, it's, it's, it's a big shame, you know. And somebody said that uh, General Babangana Mungoro, we have been expecting your action. The whole Kayaris emanates, the whole Kayaris emanated from Maduguri. They successfully made it a hood of terrorists killing the indigenous people and other tribes. Now they felt they have captured Nigeria for their tribe, Fulanese. You know, they said we don't have a president. Very soon the truth will prevail. They said Buhari is dead and buried. We only have a man who the Kabas brought to rules. The thing is that, whether we like it or not, the truth must be revealed. And we will know everything behind this Nigerian uh, present tenor right now. We will know everything. The things that are hidden will be exposed. We know that it is uh, Gabashi and all that's ruling the country right now. You know, and it's just so, so shameful. You know, and we all know that Aisha Buhari has said this openly, indirectly. It came, she came out and spoke about all these things indirectly. For people that are sensitive would know exactly what this lady was talking about then. And it is clear Buhari is incapable, is not capable of managing anything including his family and the government. We all remember that Aisha Buhari came out. He came out and started talking that her husband doesn't have time for, for her anymore. You know? To tell you that something is wrong in this present uh, leaders, leadership. Something is definitely wrong. And that is why he loses authority to his relations to manage the family while Abakayari takes charge of the government. You know, it is only God that can help us, my people. A lot of things are happening now that even if we Nigeria hear about it, we will not be able to talk anymore. What this uh, Babangada was saying is actually right. He, he speaks the truth. He said it all. Because we need to even ask ourselves, why is Abakayari so strong in Buhari? Why? There was a time a news came out that uh, um, Mr. Muhammad Buhari went to United Kingdom. And instead of him to ask Yemi Ushibayo to bring a document for him, who did he ask? 
it has Kabaka Yaru to bring the document. It shows that the vice, vice president is nothing. It's nothing to him. And outside, Wari will be saying that there is nothing between, there is nothing wrong between uh, him and uh, Yemi Oshibajo. Who are we going to believe about this? What are we going to believe? So guys, what do you think? Your opinion is so very much important to us right now. Can I drop your comments? And God bless you for subscribing to our channel. I want to say a big thank you to you. We really appreciate your comments, my people. We say God bless you as you are supporting us. God will definitely support you guys too. Bye.